Hello my darlings, magandang buhay! Welcome to Jackie's vlog! So today's vlog my darling is all about basic fashion 101 advice. This is my darling the guidelines that I've been following to express myself through fashion. I hope this would also help you my darlings on expressing your own self through fashion. But before that, if you're new here, hello, welcome. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you back. In this channel, I do a lifestyle vlog about my life here in America that includes beauty, fashion, travel, or anything under the sun. So without further ado, let's go and start this. Two, three. Basic 101 advice I can give you, my darlings. You probably know this. You probably heard it everywhere, but I just want to say it again. If you want to look slimmer, if you're someone that's being conscious in some part of your body and you want to conceal it, then try to wear dark color clothing. It could be jeans, it could be a shirt, a blouse, a skirt, a dress. You name it. Oh, because dark color clothing there's always something about it that hides some of our imperfections and you know uh, makes us look slimmer we're not perfect so sometimes we just have to um, do some tricks on our clothing dark color clothing tends to help us hide some of our imperfection to help us look perfect in our own Second way. fashion advice I can give you my darling. This is the opposite of the first one. I know we all have a different kind of body types and some women are skinny and they're very conscious about it and if you're, you belong in this category and you don't want people to notice that you're skinny and you want to add some volume on your body I suggest wear um, light color clothing like bold prints vibrant color in this way it can help add volume on your body and people will tend to focus more on the vibrant color that you're wearing and the beautiful prints in that way you're not gonna be so conscious about your body but you just have to be proud that you you know blessed with this kind of body I think we all are blessed to have whatever body types that we have it's just all about expressing ourselves in our own personal way basic fashion advice i can give you my darlings is accentuate your best as it i know right I'll, i heard this a lot of ladies like i don't have a best as it actually i heard this a lot of my friends and said i'm not sexy i'm not beautiful you know i have a lot of this i have a big time and everything like that no more excuses ladies you don't have to compare yourself to a super model you yourself is beautiful and sexy the way you are you just have to uh, love yourself and express yourself in your own way of course you have your beautiful assets you know, you just have to know exactly what made the things that makes you happy by expressing it through fashion. Just for example, myself, you know, it's been a while that I've been so conscious about my big thigh because I'm petite and I have a pear-shaped body. So I'm always conscious about my big thigh. So by knowing your body type, so by knowing that, I, I try to wear a dark color, jeans or pants or skirts in my bottom part to hide that imperfection to make my legs slimmer and i can be playful in my upper part so i can be playful with my blouse with shirts i can wear you know um, bold prints to uh, give a balance to accentuate my best asset which is I think my upper bottom part and I like to show my color bone because I have that slimmer upper part and that way I can express myself and be happy and be confident about it and you too my darlings you just have to know what are the things that you know can make you happy and express yourself through fashion performer darling is all about proportion I learned this technique from one of the famous models in Paris. I've been following her and I love her. 
and it actually makes sense and it helps me actually to become more playful in my outfit it's all about balance and proportions for example if you are wearing fitted jeans or pants or a skirt try to pair it with more relaxed t-shirt blouse or a tonic in that way you kind of look more like put together in classy and stylish and the other way around if you are wearing a more fitted blouse or a shirt or kind of sleeveless you know more sexy upper part then try to pair it with a relax jeans for example like um wide leg jeans or a palazzo pants or um pleated skirts something like that because there's always something about you know in this kind of outfit that when you follow these rules you look more put together in classy and effortless and very very stylish i know ladies there is no right and wrong on how you want to wear your outfit and how you want to look your outfit to look like but um these are just the guidelines because i see some ladies they're just you know um they're so they have this best assets that they could have but they tend to lose to wear proportion balance outfit they tend to like i see some ladies that wear two loose pants two loose shirts and then you know i don't know if they're just too shy to show their best assets but if you follow this kind of more proportion balance into your outfit and apply it to your outfit you're gonna see what i'm saying it's gonna make your it's gonna look your outfit more stylish and more you Number five, my darlings, is try monochromatic look. OMG. There's always something about having a monochromatic outfit. It always makes you look like you're a million dollar baby. It doesn't have to be all blacks or nudes. You can be playful with monochromatic look. You can wear your favorite color. It could be green, pink, blue orange or whatever it is you can just mix and match it with different kind of tones of your favorite color and you're gonna be surprised on how this outfit could upgrade your look in a very good way because when you're wearing monochromatic look you're gonna be looking just like one long piece or one long line so it doesn't matter if you're petite or you're tall doesn't matter whatever your body type is so yeah my darlings why don't you try this monochromatic look next time you're in mood to be playful with your outfit oh my goodness my darling i have so many things that i wanted to share with you about basic 101 fashion advice but i want this segment to be short so i'm gonna give you another one maybe i'm gonna make another segment next time around from a different fashion advice 101 but the number six i can give you is all about accessorizing ourselves. i see a lot of women accessorizing them themselves like a christmas tree oh no i'm sorry i'm sorry i say that but this is just a guidelines my darlings i know you can wear anything you want there is no right and wrong and how you want your outfit to look like this is just a guidelines for you my darlings to be more fashionable and stylish in on your own unique way so the best way to accessorize yourself my darlings is choose the statement pieces that would go well with your outfit you know that would that would go well with the outfit that you want to look like for example you want a statement piece that's like a necklace like i'm wearing right now i'm wearing, wearing this big necklace that i wanted to i want this to be more like a statement piece in my outfit so i wear to wear more like a subtle earrings and you know and a subtle bangles you know something like that so you want statement pieces to be like your earrings to go well with your outfit like you can wear big hoops or dangling um, earrings and you have to be more subtle in your necklace here or in your bangles so that they're not clashing so by doing so you can more look effortless and stylish
that's it for today my darlings i hope you enjoyed watching a vlog for today and i hope you can apply all this fashion basic one-on-one -on -one advice that i give you my darlings and let me know how it works for you and thank you for watching i hope to see you all my darlings in my next vlog please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any video like this one um have a wonderful day my darlings bye